एवरीवन दिस इज आरती एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दून वाली ग्रीन टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाइलोरोनिक एसिड हाइलोरोनिक एसिड इज सो मच इन वोग नाउ अ एवरी स्किन केयर ब्रांड वांट्स टू मेक समथिंग और द अदर फ्रॉम दिस एसिड आइदर क्रीम्स और लोशंस और सीरम्स और वॉट यू नेम अंडर द स्किन केयर ब्रांड डू यू नो दैट वन मास ऑफ हाइलोरोनिक एसिड होल्ड अप टू थाउजेंड टाइम्स इट्स मास ऑफ वॉटर amazing amazing ingredient now let's see what it is so before talking about hyaluronic acid you need to know our skin first so hyaluronic acid is present throughout the animal kingdom right from prokaryotes to us human beings our our skin consists of three layers the epidermis dermis and hypodermis so epidermis is the outer layer of the skin which you can see feel touch the second part is the dermis that's why we call it as dermatologist because this is the main part of our skin it is the second layer of the skin epidermis and dermis are joined together with a membrane called as basement membrane and the third layer is the hypodermis or the inner layer which is connected to uh, the muscles to to know about hyaluronic acid our second layer that is the dermis layer or the dermal layer which is important to us uh, in this dermal layer there is a cell called as fibroblast it has three components in it it has collagen you know how important collagen is for a youthful skin then it has elastin elastin produces the elastic layer elasticity of the skin and the third is hyaluronic acid which retains the moisture in the skin now all these three contents are responsible wrinkles fine lines whatever skin conditions we have this is where our skin becomes a sensory organ it can feel pain it can feel cold heat so now next part is what is hyaluronic acid so now that you know where is hyaluronic acid based it is the second layer of our skin where hyaluronic acid is present in its natural form our body produces hyaluronic acid to maintain the water content in the body or on the skin specifically now let's see what is hyaluronic acid i will try to put in a picture of hyaluronic chain right here now it sounds so scary right hyaluronic acid something big and something which uh, we should not put on our skin but that is not true so basically hyaluronic acid is glycoaminoglycane did i get it right Oh yes I did. <laughs> so this glycoaminoglycan is nothing big it is a very 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 big chain of sugar. Yeah it's right it's sugar. Hyaluronic acid is a polymer of disaccharides or a kind of sugar with a very very long chain. So that now we know what hyaluronic acid is let's get from where do we get this hyaluronic acid? So in human beings it is naturally made previously it was made up of coxcomb but coxcomb is not a vegetarian uh, nowadays it is made from a stain of bacteria in the lab thank god now let's talk about types of hyaluronic acid so dalton is the units used to measure hyaluronic acid molecules based on this the category or the classification of hyaluronic acid is made there are three types of hyaluronic acid low molecular weight hyaluronic acid high molecular weight hyaluronic acid and mixed molecular weight hyaluronic acid low molecular hyaluronic acid chain is like this small and higher molecular hyaluronic acid chain is like this big it is n if you see the formula it is on the n square the n decides the molecular weight of the hyaluronic acid now this is a tricky part while doing research uh, a lot of people said that low molecular hyaluronic acid creates sensitization and high molecular hyaluronic acid is better or uh, low molecular hyaluronic acid is better because it seeps in the skin and then it can hydrate you from within all these things are uh, sometimes i feel marketing gimmick sometimes i feel they are genuine i really could not distinguish but then i spoke to some of the people who sell hyaluronic acid and they made me realize that when uh, a pharma company makes hyaluronic acid it makes from those dalkins of molecules which are good for the skin so a mixed molecular hyaluronic acid which is from uh, three to four types of dalkins of uh, hyaluronic acid is mixed together which is 
skin friendly which will not sensitize your skin but at the same time hydrate, hydrate from the top layer and goes to the inner layer and not seep in into the cells. So uh, mixed molecular weight hyaluronic acid is like 20 or 2000 kilo deltans which will sit on the top, hydrate the top then it seeps in the smaller molecules seep in the skin and then they hydrate from within now you have to understand that hyaluronic acid is a humectant what it does is it absorbs the water from the atmosphere and keep it locked with it that's how it gives a plumpy effect this is true if you are in a humid state but if you are in a dry state like there are boons, sometimes it is too dry, sometimes it is too wet. Now what happens is, if you, if it is dry outside and you have hyaluronic acid in the, uh, you have applied hyaluronic acid, it will absorb the moisture from the body and bring it to the surface. You have to remember that you have to keep yourself hydrated and the way you use hyaluronic acid is important. What I usually suggest is, for people who want to use hyaluronic acid because it is an amazing amazing ingredient first you cleanse your skin then tone it and do not wipe the toner usually use a water based toner because that is more effective and then apply the serum or moisturizer or made of hyaluronic acid on your face so that it locks in that moisture and you can of course have to drink a lot of water which is good for you anyways. This hyaluronic acid basically targets three aspects of the skin. It is the texture of the skin. It gives you nice, plumpy, shiny effect on the skin. Second is the tone of the skin. It will tone your skin internally and tropically. And third is the volume, the plumpiness of the skin will increase and uh, you will have that youthful beautiful looking skin that's how it 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 becomes an anti-aging formula now hyaluronic acid is present in various forms all over the market what i suggest is for hyaluronic acid to work you have to leave it on the skin for some time so investing in to creams lotions serums anything which you can leave on the skin for some time works the best secondly Hyaluronic acid is a bit sensitive to the sun so uh, you should if you want to use it during the night actually night is the best time to use it yeah, you can leave it on for 8 nice hours and let that skin refresh but however if you want to use it during the daytime you use hyaluronic acid and make sure you use a good SPF cream on top of your skin because that is going to protect your skin. I never suggest to use hyaluronic acid during the day. But if at all you want to do, please uh, do it. But use a good sunscreen. Minimum SPF 50 is a good amount of sunscreen. Secondly, please do not waste your money in scrubs or face washes or anything which is a wash off product with hyaluronic acid. It does not make sense to invest so much of money because these are expensive ingredients why would you waste money in a wash of product so take my advice and do not waste it in a wash of product so having said that uh, that's a lot of things to take in i know but having said that let's make a one person dilution of hyaluronic acid so let's get going and make some dilutions so this is the hyaluronic acid which i had purchased from amazon in the description box you will get the link below from where I have purchased this you can go ahead and uh, check that out so this is how our hyaluronic acid looks like it's in the powdered form let me put 0.5 grams in this container now I am adding 49.25 grams of distilled water I'm also going to add 0.25 grams of my preservative because this is a water based product or solution we have to add preservative I will be giving the link of this preservative in the description box please go ahead and check that out that is a this is a eco certified preservative so once all my ingredients are mixed I can use a spatula and stir it but I do not like to do that what I am going to do is I will just cap it I will just cap it and write the dilutions 
so that I don't forget this is hyaluronic acid 1% dilution so here it is hyaluronic acid 1% dilution if you see this is forming this will not mix directly you have to hydrate this for 24 hours we will be leaving this overnight and then come tomorrow so let's come tomorrow oh it's gone it's all mixed up if you see the consistency it is not watery anymore it has formed a nice viscous liquid can you see that if you would like to see products made from this hyaluronic acid solution please mention in the description box below that you would love to see something from here and if you have anything in mind which you particularly want to see let me know in the description box below i would really love to make that and uh, i hope you like the video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and see you soon bye